Hi loves, welcome to my channel, This Mama Loves Disney. Okay, you guys, so this is a week three of Crafting With My Ghouls, which is a Halloween collab, which is hosted by Miss Susan Tootsie Tucker. Hey, Susan. Okay, so our um, project this week is an altered picture frame. And um, last week we had a shadow box. The week before last we had a memory decks card. And this coming week will be a project of our very own design. Okay, so um, the sky's the limit there, girls and guys. Okay, so um, and down below, real quick, I just want to mention something. There are some amazing, wonderful crafters that are in this uh, collab. Um, I would love if you get the opportunity to check them out. And also, we are piggybacking on Alicia's um, Crafty Hoplop. Hey, Alicia! Um, and so I will leave her link down below so that you can go to her channel and um, give them some love over there as well. Okay, so I'm not going to show you everything that I ended up using for this project. It was kind of like, um, it's, it's self-explanatory. Um, I will point out that I did use some of this, these villains from this paper collection, which is a Disney paper collection. I also used some stickers um, that um, I, well, I used some Disney um, villain stickers. And then I also used this Nouveau Glow Drops that glow in the dark. Okay. And really super quick, let me just kind of move a little, make a little room um, for my project. As you guys could tell, this is a Disney theme. Uh, project which you guys have already noticed <laughs> okay so really quick this is my frame that I used it is a Dollar Tree frame um, that is just an acrylic frame I used it more to um, be a stand for another frame okay so my project is sorry my project is this okay so what it is is there is a background there's two sheets for a background um, I ended up um, using a background that had like a sky and then um, I think this is from the bewitched and then I used a paper that was from um, a Jack Skellington um, pad well it's not a pad but it's a I have a Disney pad that has Jack Skellington in it, so the bottom was Jack Skellington, which you really can't see now. Um, and then here's all the little characters that I told you that I cut out, different characters. Um, I ended up using um, um, a cobweb die, and I used glittered paper for this particular um, die. And then um, down at the bottom, I ended up adding grass. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I added grass and that grass was some, um, oh gosh, trim that was from the 99 cent store. And so I thought it looked like grass. So um, it's down at the bottom. I ended up putting a holographic um, tombstone here. Um, I added some spiders, and you guys, I don't have any of my Halloween crafts out, um, crafting stuff out yet, so um, these spiders just happen to be from um, uh, a gift that I ended up receiving from Tara, Nurse Tara. Hey, Tara! Um, and then um, these little cobwebs with the skulls in it, those are from the paper collection. Um, I also just used some tonic, um, very sheen um, glitter for Maleficent's wand or staff. Um, and then I ended up putting some beads on here that are from Dollar Tree for um, Ursula's tentacles. And what else did I do? Um, oh, and then up here at the top. Um, for the shingles for the roof, I ended up using just these really, these really big um, sequence circles that I ended up uh, getting at Hobby Lobby last year. I went around the edges of it just to give a little bit of a glow from the moon. 
and on the background here too the clouds weren't very evident they weren't like very distinct so I just went ahead and made some more um, I just added some more clouds and then you can see some black here because um, oogie boogie was kind of disappearing in the white so I just added a little bit of black there but yeah so this is my frame oh and down here I don't know if you can see that but I had the perfect size of my son and daughter um, my youngest son and daughter down here my son's a Godzilla and my daughter was a little 50s girl and um, so I just went ahead and added that into the frame because all these there was a bunch of little holes uh, windows and doorways that are all little frames so I just went ahead and added characters peeking out of each of those frames okay and then up here is Oogie Boogie this is part of a paper collection that I had um, that was Jack Skellington and um, yeah so really quick I'm just gonna show you one of the little effects that I've done with this um, I ended up I ended up propping this house up on um, straws, some plastic straws. I put two straws down at the bottom and two straws in the middle. And in between each straw, um, I ended up just putting a little light effect. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see that, but um, I went ahead to make it a glow. Um, so I ended up putting some glow sticks. Um, and so, yeah. So I also have one extra glow stick that I figured I would show in the front so you guys can see the better details. And I thought it was really cool how um, the cobwebs would glow and some of the white. Um, Captain Hook, not so much, but yeah. So I thought that was just a really cool effect. I just thought I would share that with y'all. I hope you guys enjoyed my share for this week. And, um, and thank you guys so much for taking some time out and spending it with me. And don't forget to go visit all the other um, amazing crafters that are in this collab. And I will see you guys on the next video. Bye, guys.